Good morning to all my beautiful people. How is everybody doing this morning? I am doing fabulous. Blessed, highly favored. God woke me up in my, in my right mind with all my limbs working, feeling good. I slept good. Like, God is so amazing, y'all. So, I just came on here this morning so that I can um, read my three books with you guys. <clears throat> We're going to read the Jesus Calling first. So everybody could get their word in for today. You have to, you have to spend time with God. You have to take time out your your schedule to spend time with God. It's a must. If not one, two, three, four times a day, it's a must, y'all. It's a must. He's the only way, the truth, and the light. And nothing and no one comes before Him. Okay. April, today is the 16th. I am calling you to a life of thankfulness. I want all your moments to be punctuated with thanksgiving. The basic for your gratitude is my serenity. Um, I am the creator and the controller of the universe. Heaven and earth are filled with my glorious presence. When you criticize or complain, you are acting as if you think you could run the world better than I do. Now, we all know that we cannot run this world better than God. We can't run it at all. As you can, you can see, our presidents, you know. You can't run the world without God. You just can't do it. And that's why so much in a disaster has always been in a disaster. You've never seen us have a president that's a godly man. A man of God that's president. There's never been. Ever. So, the world has always been in a chaos. This has never been a great place. You know, so. Um, from your limited human perspective, it may look as if I am mismanaging things. But you don't know what I know or see what I see. Amen to that. If I pull back the curtain to allow you to view heavenly realms, you would understand much more. However, I have designed you to live by faith and not by sight. I lovely shield you from knowing the future or seeing into the spirit world. Acknowledge my serenity, my sovereignty by giving thanks in all circumstances. And they were calling to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah 6, 3. We live by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Y'all, we can't, we can't live in this world and be in this world without God. He's the head of everything. He made everything. So, I don't understand how you can do things, things without him. Uh, April 16th, Prove It is the title. Satan was tempting Jesus. He was trying to get Jesus to turn away from God and worship him. Satan offered some pretty cool things in tempting Jesus, but none of them worked. Jesus met every temptation with scripture. So one of Satan's temptations was to challenge scripture to make Jesus prove that God would do what he said he would do. Jesus' response was this verse. Don't try to test God. Don't test God. Okay. Even his own father, he told that devil, don't try to test my father. He didn't have to prove anything to Jesus, and he doesn't have to prove anything to you. God says he loves you and will take care of you. Believe him and don't test him. The scripture also say, you must not test the Lord your God, Matthew 4, 7. You must not test the Lord your God. I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor death, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers near, neither height nor depth, nor, nor anything else in all creations will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Romans 8, 38 and 39. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one, y'all. So now I'm reading my couples book. A Teachable Heart. 
It's a great deal easier to find fault with your spouse than yourself. In the middle of a disagreement, you're offended by your partner's tone, attitude, and choice of words, yes. You want God to show them the error of their ways. You pray they change their ways. The flies in the face of the, the psalmist. Prayer for God to identify the offensive way in me. It takes a heavy dose of courage and humility to submit to self-examination. Ask for the Spirit to reveal any offensive way in you. Rudeness, self-centered choices, demeaning language, or any sinful habit that's camping in the backyard of your life. Ask Him to teach you His way everlasting. Repentance and obedience produced by authentic faith in Jesus. Chances are cleaning up the mess in your own heart won't leave much room to um, criticize your spouse. Uh, God is faithful in keeping his promise to finish his, finish the work he's begun in your lives. You can patiently trust him to shape you both and draw you closer every day. Lord, thank you for correcting us, excuse me, and showing how to live in the way, in your ways. Fill us, uh, with patience and mercy as you lead in Jesus name In Jesus name y'all. Thank you so much. This was a blessed morning. Thank everybody for tuning in to listen to my my word and my wisdom from God in all three of my books. This is my word and my wisdom from God every day. Yesterday I wasn't able to get it in and in this, so I will make sure every day that I'm on here so that we all can get in our words of God, our word. And sometimes, you know, your schedules might be um busy. But we always have to take our time, whether it's five, ten minutes, whether you read a piece of a scripture or a lot of the scripture. As um, long as you take time out for God to spend time with him, to pray with him, to read his word, to get to know him better. And, um, you know, you see things changing before your eyes, but you also have to change you. You can't just read his word and go on about your business and continue to do hateful and cruel things. You have to change your ways, your thoughts, your actions, your moves, your um, everything about yourself. God says change your people, places, and things. So we have to change all of that. You know, we can't go in our go and pray and go before God and read our word and this and that and then get up and cursing somebody out like a sailor or just being hateful and mean the same way that you was when you came into the prayer or your prayer room or your prayer closet or your prayer space, or just your bedroom, or your kitchen table. It doesn't matter where you're at to talk to God. You can talk to Him anywhere. You can read your word anywhere, as long as you get it in. When you want to start being more intimate with God, you get a space, a sacred place, to pray and to talk to God, and to do all these things, you know, in private, so that God could bless you. Um... You pray and you and you, you talk to God in private so that God can bless you openly. All right, guys, in Jesus' name, everybody have a blessed day and get your word in. Don't forget, we love you. Bye.